sewing expert Denise Wild has a great tip for all you traveling moms. If you've got a special event coming up, a family function, or if you're just a busy mom on the go like me, you definitely want to have a good sewing kit in your purse. Now, this one I made, and I just took a travel soap container, which is a perfect size, and it closes nice and easily. Inside, make sure you have some hand sewing needles, and I put them on some fabric just so that it stays close together. You'll also want some safety pins because you never know what you need to hold together. And I definitely recommend some dressmaking pins as well they kind of act like a second hand they can hold some fabric out of the way while you're working to sew things together so of course you'll need some thread I've used a little bobbin mate to keep these bobbins of thread together that way I have multiple colors on the go but if I want instead I can take one full spool of thread um, if you're going to a wedding and you're gonna help the bride definitely bring a white uh, and buttons, you'll wanna have buttons on hand. Now I've chosen buttons that are clear and I definitely recommend this because they'll work with any fabric color. Keep them in a little bag so that they stay nice and close together. Another thing I like to have in my sewing kit is called a stitch ripper. Now this is a fantastic tool that sewers use. You'll find it at your local sewing supply store. It's a little blade that can be used to tear out your stitches. So instead of bringing a pair of scissors, which you might think are handy, this is easier to maneuver and it's smaller so it takes up less space. So a stitch ripper is great to have, but it won't pass through security if you're traveling and flying. So instead, you're already taking your beauty case with you on a flight, pull out your dental floss and use that little blade within your dental floss to cut your thread. There you go, super easy. So the next time you go to the dentist and he gives you a little sample, once it runs out, pop that into your sewing kit and you're good to go. Finally, make sure you have some double-sided tape. Now buy this at a fabric store because that way it's specifically for holding fabric to fabric. The next time you're at a table and you realize your hem has fallen, you don't have time to run to the bathroom and sew and fix your hem, just pull out the fabric tape, stick it in place, and you're good to go.